It's Marion here at Elgin Travel and Cruises and um, another lesson that we learned this uh, last week and we try to uh, find the good in uh, in every lesson that we learn. So uh, this last week I had um, a lady come in. She had talked to one of my newer agents and uh, came in on the Saturday when the agent wasn't here and was ready to purchase a ticket to South Africa. Um, and I was delighted to be able to uh, assist with the reservation. Um, she gave me all her passport details. We went over uh, proper spelling of her name on her ticket. She had asked if she could use her husband's credit card, which was a third party credit card and was gonna give him a call. And that um, just raised a bit of a red flag for me um, with fraud that happens in uh, more so in the African countries. So um, she was fine with using the credit card that she had with her. And and we proceeded with the reservation. She contacted her mom who she was gonna go and visit in South Africa while we were here and I emailed the mom the ticket um, and um, went um, through with the ticketing of a non-refundable reservation. When I got home on Saturday, as I always do, checked my emails and I noticed that she had sent me an email saying that I had spelled her name incorrectly. And her name was Jacqueline, which we had gone over in the uh, um, office and on her credit card was Jackie, J-A-C-Q-U-I. Jacqueline was spelled J-A-C-Q-U-I-L-I-N-E. Um, the email that she sent to me said that I spelt it incorrectly and it was to be with an E. Well, the ticket was completely non-refundable and at that point the consolidator was closed for the weekend, wouldn't be open again um, until uh, Monday, which would have been too late to void the ticket. So um, went about getting um, a uh, reservation number from the supplier. I actually contacted my sales rep um, on the Sunday morning, talked to South African Airlines about getting the ticket reversed and was able to do that and get it reissued at the same fare. So just the lessons that we learn are absolutely to ensure that we have the client sign that the ticket is um, in the exact name as per the passport, especially in a destination like South Africa. Um, but just the fact that I was able to see my emails on a Saturday, get the reservation rectified on the weekend was a blessing to me um, as often agents aren't able to access their work emails from home. So it was just, it was a great lesson. I felt very blessed that we could work it all out. It was no cost to the client. It did take me a few extra hours, but I was delighted to know that she wouldn't have any hassle at the airport and that everybody was happy in the end. So again, just lessons all the time for each one of us and um, just reminding you to enjoy the journey.